Welcome fellow action figure collectors to another episode of Beyond the Cardback. I'm Trooper TK314 and today we're taking a look at the Obadiah Stain and Ironmonger 2 pack. That's right guys, today I got my pre-order from Target and it is the Obadiah Stain and Ironmonger 2 pack. But if this is your first time on my channel, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future uploads. And with that being said, let's go ahead and go beyond the card back and get a closer look. After a long stint as second command of Stark Industries, Obadiah Stain is eager to exact revenge on Tony Stark and suits up as the powerful Ironmonger to threaten Iron Man. They are out of the package. Obadiah Stain is a cool figure, but the winner of this box set is gotta be Ironmonger. He is a huge piece of chunky plastic and looks fantastic. And here's a closer look at that head sculpt on Obadiah Stain, and oh my goodness, that is beautiful. It looks just like the actor. It's fan freaking tastic. That looks so good. I wish there was a little bit of a wash on his beard just to make it just a little bit darker and to bring out that detail, but it looks really good. Accessory wise, he does come with the arc reactor from Tony's chest, which looks really good if it would focus. I mean, look at that, that is nice. He also comes with a basic black suitcase or a briefcase, and it does open, but there's nothing inside of it. So, you know, it is what it is. But with that being said, articulation wise, he is able to look up, he can look down, rotates 360, and his arms take this briefcase off arms come out to right here on both sides good range of movement swivel right there double hinged elbows so great bend on both of those the hands of course do hinge up and down and rotate 360 there is a torso cut so you get a little bit of movement there is also a swivel at the waist for 360 his legs go out this far there is a thigh swivel of course, we've got double knees, fantastic. And then looking down at his feet, I think this is neat. These are a little bit more articulated than we've seen before, but he is able to hinge up, hinge down, and forward facing pin for rocker. Here's a closer look at what everybody came to see, Ironmonger, and it looks fan freaking tastic. I mean, it is a big, hefty chunk of plastic he looks great. I mean, look at that. It just looks like a full suit of just like Mach 1 armor. Right out of the movie. Looks great. Uh, the rocket launcher here is removable if you want to. It comes right off if you don't want it on there. But if you do, just line it up and it clicks right onto place. And this piece actually will come off. Um, I didn't realize it did <laughs> until I got it out of the package. And I thought, oh God, I've already broke it. But he looks really, really cool. Articulation wise, his head does look up really good. So you can put him in some good flying poses. It does rotate from side to side. It's so big in that cavity that you can't get it. But I mean, you can make him do some crazy looks. I mean, that is just creepy looking. If I saw that thing looking at me, I'd be scared to death. <laughs> but I mean, he looks really good. I mean, you can give all kinds of you know, for a blank face, just rotating the head a certain way gives so much, like, conveys so much emotion from the person inside. That is really, really good. I think they nailed it with that. Um, the arc reactor actually has a clear piece of, piece of plastic over it, which is really cool. His arms do go out this far. And I want to show you that, go ahead and show you this because I've knocked it out of place once, but the pistons actually work. They rotate. Um, you can see them right here, but if you go too far, it will come out of the arm, but it's okay, you can put them right back. But with that being said, he does have 360 rotation. The pistons will come out. Um, these come off, obviously. You can take this off on the back. There's a little hole right there. So this is a separate piece that you can take off. Um, this rotates 360. This comes down, there we go. Anyways, he has a rotation at the waist, and it's really good. I mean, you can put him from side to side. You can arc him. He arcs back. He arcs forward. Really, really good. Um, but back to the arms, they do rotate 360. They come out to here. The arti articulation is really well hidden with this mechanical look. 
Um, the arms right here do rotate hold on, 360 right there. They come up to a little bit less than a 90 degree bend. I'm on focus camera. But it looks good. I mean, look at the missiles right there. Those look great. Look at that. The detail is fantastic. The hands are on a hinge. They can hinge up, hinge down. There's some more detail right there. They can also rotate 360. Um, looking down, there's that waist swivel again. Looks really good. This arm has the uh, machine gun. Looks really cool. I mean, look at that. That is so freaking cool. Like, I'm, I'm really excited about this figure, if you can't tell. I was waiting a long time for this one. I love it. I just love how big it is, everything. I'm um, looking at his legs. They don't go out that far. You can kind of angle them a little bit, but that's as far as they're gonna go. Um, the swivel is actually right here at the, well, it's right here, but it looks like the hip. But it doesn't rotate 360, but you do get a good range of movement. And then looking down at the knees, you do get a little bit of a 90 degree bend. And then these don't really, the whatever these cylinders don't work right there, but he does face down. They hinge up just a little bit. But what's cool is there is a forward facing pin for rocker. So that's really cool. This figure is, I think, a must have. I'm really impressed with it. But let's go ahead and take a look at some of his accessories. Accessory wise, he does come with this blast effect here that we've seen before with other Iron Man. Of course, the gold bullet chain, which is really cool. Um, you can pull both of these out, they just snap in. And he does come with a smoke piece, so which is kind of cool. Just goes right into the barrel. And there you go, and that's as if he finished firing. And then it also has an extended piece if you want to put the blast effect there. So you have the smoke and the blast effect. So that is really cool. It just gives you a whole bunch of options right there, which is really, really cool. And wise he comes with these two fisted hands and these two splayed out hands. Just for fun, I put these blast effects from the War Machine Deluxe Edition, and they fit right into his feet, and they look great. I mean, they are almost, you know, size comparison wise, they look pretty good. Of course, when we saw him in the movie, it took a lot to get this off the ground, but it looks really good. And here's the other pieces. I mean, if it supported him, which it doesn't, that looks really good actually for the Ironmonger blast off. And one more thing, just for fun, you can do a head swap. So there we go. And it does look kind of cool. I mean, it's not exact. You know, it would have been cool if this had it opened up and maybe you could have put the torso in there or something. But you know, if you want to, you know, fudge it just a little bit, that looks pretty good. I mean, that fits right in with, you know, him taking the helmet off. Just for size comparison, here he is with the Gamerverse Iron Man and the Shang-Chi AI Tony Stark Iron Man, which is also comparable to the 80th anniversary Iron Man. As you can see, he is a chunky big figure. He towers above both of them. This concludes my Ironmonger and Obadiah Stain 2-pack review. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments if you plan on adding this figure to your collection. Also follow me on Instagram at Beyond the Force. There's a link in the description below. As always, I hope you guys have a wonderful week, and may the Force be with you.